Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. And today we're looking at last summer's hottest gun in the CCW world and it's right here, a Sig Sauer P365XL. When Sig introduced this gun, it was a huge announcement. No big lead up, no countdown or anything. They just announced it and people went crazy. It reviews very well. It has all the features that the smaller model has, except for a couple are enhanced. A longer barrel, 3.7 inches, a flat trigger, part of their X-Series trigger, all right? It is optic ready, cut to fit a RMSC, six hour RMSC, and a Romeo Zero. And same with the rail, all right? Set to fit SIG accessories. And that's one of the things people love or hate you know they say well it's proprietary to sig sour well they're they're padding their own accessories and whether you like that or not it's not stopping people from buying this it is a modular gun okay so it does have the serial number on the internal chassis and 12 round magazines x-ray three day night sights and i like that front dot it stands out it's quite large it stands out very well and front serrations the flat trigger is nice it's got a a nice reset not a very strong strike but a tactical audible reset people love it now last summer the sig p320 x compact was a huge deal this kind of took its steam away especially in terms of CCW, but let's take a few shots here. All right. 12 round mags already mentioned, but getting that last round in was hard. You really had to uh, break your thumb to get it in. It will fit, but it you know it's tight but you also have to well i was gonna see i was gonna see if the slide will uh and it will but you also have to check to make sure that mag is seated it has a sight hole indicator there and the mag well is flared out a little bit and you can see that it does have an extended beaver tail but let me go ahead and take a few shots one-handed and see how i do Not bad. That's a nice trigger. People have mixed opinions on the, the flat trigger, you know, whether they like them or not. I'm kind of in the middle. This works for this model. All right, it does have a nice reset, but it's, uh, it's not a heavy gun at all. Right around 25 ounces loaded with 13 rounds. And that's, that's a little bit below average for a gun with that capacity. Earlier I talked about seating the mag. This mag here has 12 rounds in it, but if I push it in there, it looks like it's seated, but it's actually not, all right? So it's, it looks pretty good to me, but it's not seated. You really have to slam that home so it pretty well fits flush with the flared out magwell. You can see the way the magwell flares out a little bit. You're looking at the same price. You know, it didn't drop in cost at all in the last year or so. Well, at least since last summer, you're looking at right around 570 to 590 on average for the P365XL. But let me go ahead and take a few shots. See how it does. Check out the, the recoil here. There it is. Nice handgun. The XL, they're, they're calling the flat trigger part of their X series. Okay, X compact, X carry, any other Xs they have out there. You know, SIG has, they started out with the P320 compact and that has evolved to a whole series of pistols. And then when the SIG P365 came out, 
That was a big deal. They said they built the gun around the magazine. And then the XL came out and that this was a big hit. But I've got eight rounds here. This review is dying for a lip wrist test. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me make sure that is seated. All right, so let's go ahead and see how well this does with a limp wrist. All right, so we have, ah, I thought I locked the slide back, but I didn't. All right, so we had a failure to eject. I held that one really loose. Not making excuses. If I was making excuses, then I wouldn't show it. But I'm showing it. All right, here we go. Lip wrist. All right, let's. And there it is. Six hour P365XL. It's optic ready, it's got the rail, both those set for six hour products, 3.7 inch barrel, front serrations, x-ray three night sights, it's modular, it's got a flat trigger, 12 round magazines, I think I just summed it all up right there. Very good CCW gun, a lot of people love it, and I don't own this, so I'm not here saying that I have a lot of experience carrying it, but I know people who do, and I know people who carry it every day, and they certainly enjoy it. And I have to admit that I did enjoy this at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.